people power and identity wales 1200 to 1999 is one of the modules that we have on offer in the department of history and welsh history in your first year of study with us it's a module that's designed to be an introduction to the history of wales and as such gives students a broad sweep of the history of Wales from the 13th century uh, right up to the present day. It takes as its theme, uh, it's not just a chronological history of Wales between uh, 1200 and the year 2000, uh, but it, it takes a theme to bind, to explore throughout that period of the Welsh respond to the resp the Welsh response to authority and expressions of Welsh identity uh, and attempts to look at how they changed from late medieval Wales through early modern Wales right up to the present day. Why study the history of Wales? Well, uh, maybe you've come to Wales for the first time to study. Uh, and it's a great opportunity then to study uh, a different aspect uh, of the history of Britain, which you may be very familiar with. This is a different story within uh, the history of the British Isles. And Aberystwyth is the preeminent place uh, really to study the history of Wales. We are the Department of History and Welsh History at the end of the day. And we have the biggest concentration here in the Department of Welsh historians and experts in the history of Wales. We also have some unprecedented resources very close by, uh, including the National Library of Wales, uh, our country's leading uh, repository of archives and material and manuscripts and books uh, relating to the history of Wales. So... Uh, coming to study with us in the Department of History and Welsh History is a great opportunity to uh, get a flavour of and an introduction to the history uh, of, of Wales itself. Like all first year modules, this module is taught through a series of lectures and seminars. There are there will be eighteen seminars, uh, eighteen lectures. I'm sorry, uh, and uh, the list of them is is there for you to see. Uh, they were taught in uh, small groups with five different members of the department doing three or four lectures uh, in a block together. Those lectures are then supported by fortnightly seminars. Lectures take place uh, twice a week. Seminars take place uh, once a fortnight. And those seminars then give students the opportunity to explore some of the key themes in the module in in a different form in a little bit more depth uh, and in discussion with both uh, a member of uh, the department and with your fellow students uh, the five seminars one will be taken by each of the lecturers on the module uh, and so they will start with medieval wales uh, looking at the loss of power after the conquest of Wales in 1282. Second, we look at uh, the impact of the Acts of Union and the Protestant Reformation. And the third, uh, we'll focus on the 18th century and the remaking of Wales in the 18th century as a result of the emergence of Methodism and Romanticism. In the fourth seminar, we look at popular protest. 19th century Wales and the, the birth of a political um, political power in Wales through the Liberal Party and then finally in the fifth seminar uh, we look at the rise of working class Wales uh, the rise of the Labour movement and then uh, looking at the political developments in Wales down to the opening of the Welsh Assembly uh, in 1999. <laughs> The module is not meant to be exhaustive, but it's meant to give you a taste of the history of Wales and to flag up some of the kind of areas of expertise we have in the department that are then explored in more detail in additional modules in your second and third years. If you do intend to do the module when you come to Aber in your first year, 
and you'd like to do some preparative work uh, on the module, then I can recommend uh, the, the, the core texts for the course. Uh, the one core text will be the book there in the middle, which is the uh, standard one volume History of Wales. John Davis is a History of Wales. And so if you'd like to get hold of one book to, to do some background reading on aspects of or the whole of the module, then, then that is the book to get hold of. There are two other shorter books as well that you might like to read. Uh, Gwynalf Williams' is When Was Wales is one of the liveliest histories of Wales and really it's an exploration of that question. Uh, when did Wales exist and what do we mean by Wales when we use that term? More recently, uh, and again slightly shorter, is Gerard H. Jenkins' is a concise history of Wales. Uh, and again, that's a really good introduction to the history uh, of Wales and to the material that's covered in this module.